Danielle Lloyd knows better than most of the inner workings of the WAG world as the former wife of footballer Jamie O'Hara. And now, the close pal of Colleen Rooney has blasted Rebecca Vardy for the brutal text messages she penned about Colleen, which were revealed in the High Court last week, and explained how she is concerned that the fallout from the Wagatha Christie drama is affecting footballers and their wives. Speaking with Closer magazine, the former Miss England and Miss Great Britain, 38, opened up on her fears for other wags and sporting stars, who are mutual pals of the Roonies and Verdes, being dragged into the messy case. Telling that she thinks Rebecca, 39, suing Colleen, 35, over her infamous Instagram from October 2019 in which Colleen claimed Rebecca's account was behind a number of stories that had appeared in the papers, Danielle says she thinks it will have caused a really toxic atmosphere in the homes of many footballers. I definitely I think it's going to have caused a divide between any mutual friends they have. And with footballers and wags, what happens publicly off the pitch affect them on the pitch too and vice versa. It can cause a really toxic atmosphere at home, she said. Telling on her reaction to seeing messages Vardy sent to her agent Caroline Watt, where Colleen is branded a CT and nasty BH, Danielle continued, I was really shocked, I couldn't believe it, the messages I read on the news stories were brutal. Verdi's legal rep has since claimed in court that Rebecca's nasty BH slur was not directed at Colleen but someone else. Danielle then added that hopes the pair can put their issues aside away from court. Danielle added, I think the best thing for all of them now would be to put this to bed, for their family's sakes. I don't think Rebecca and Colleen will ever be friends again, but I hope they can get on with their lives. This has gone beyond the world of wax, it's so personal and has become messy. In October 2019, Colleen made her sensational accusation that Rebecca's Instagram account had been selling stories about her to a tabloid, sharing a tweet that began, This has been a burden in my life for a few years now and finally I have got to the bottom of it. She then added a screenshot of a note with full details of her allegation. She wrote, For a few years now someone who I trusted to follow me on my personal Instagram account has been consistently informing the Sun newspaper of my private posts and stories. There has been so much information given to them about me, my friends and my family, all without my permission or knowledge. After a long time of trying to figure out who it could be, for various reasons, I had a suspicion. To try and prove this, I came up with an idea. I block everyone from viewing my Instagram stories except one account. Those on my private account must have been wondering why I haven't had stories on there for a while. Over the past five months I have posted a series of false stories to see if they made their way into the Sun newspaper. And you know what, they did. The story about gender selection in Mexico, the story about returning to TV and then the latest story about the basement flooding in my new house. Do you enjoy reading about celebrities? Sign up for all the best celeb news from the mirror here. It's been tough keeping it to myself and not making any comment at all, especially when the stories have been leaked, however I had to. Now I know for certain with account, individual it's come from. I have saved and screenshotted all the original stories which clearly show just one person has viewed them. It's, Rebecca Vardy's account. Colleen's accusation provoked huge upset for Rebecca, who took to Twitter herself to issue a lengthy denial, writing, If you thought this was happening you could have told me and I could have changed my passwords to see if it stopped. 
Over the years various people have had access to my Insta and just this week I found I was following people I didn't know and have never followed myself. I'm not being funny but I don't need the money, what would I gain from selling stories on you? I like you a lot Colleen and I'm so upset that you have chosen to do this, especially when I'm heavily pregnant. I'm disgusted that I'm even having to deny this. You should have called me the first time this happened. She then hit out at Colleen for publicly shaming her instead of discussing her theories directly, saying in an interview with The Sun, why didn't she pick up the phone? I have been so upset by it, and I'm heavily pregnant too. Now I'm getting death threats saying I should die and my unborn child should die. That's why I'm determined to get to the bottom of what has gone on and clear my name. After Colleen made her accusation public, Rebecca decided to take legal action, launching a libel case against her. A pre-trial review is due to take place April 13th.